Hello everybody, it's Rockmelon Recycle here in conjunction with Lulu Art, design team member for 2017. Are you ready to get messy? Today we're going to be using ink sprays and paint on watercolour paper and we're just going to have a really good play and by the end of it we're going to chop them up and have 16 art cards. So the first thing we're doing with our watercolour paper is we're just spraying with ordinary water. If you don't have a spray bowl you can use a nice thick and soft paintbrush or foam brush. So I'm just starting to spray the colours on now. I'm not making any particular pattern, I'm just put, putting it on random order. You can find the full materials list at lulu.com.au um, or also in the description of this video of course you can find the full list. So the colours I'm using today are After Midnight Crushed Grape, Cut Grass, Squeezed, squeezed Orange and Bubblegum. I'm just allowing them to move and what I love about using wet paper is that you can really move it. Like you can see I'm picking it up, I'm moving it around, I'm letting it become all messy. I don't want it to look organised, this is simply my background. I want us just to have fun with art. Now I want to add a little splash of colour, some little tiny details and what I'm using is the brush o crystals. And today I'm just going to use the yellow one. The best way to apply these is a tiny little pinch of your finger or on a, a stick or a paintbrush. As you can see when I'm dropping these in, mine are actually dropping in um, quite bunchy, in a bunchy kind of way. If you really want to do it finely, just um, dip a brush in and shake your brush off gently. Use a nice big thick one that's soft. But I just really like throwing it all on. And notice I'm putting it on the really wet parts of the paper. I'm not putting on the dry parts because the brusho crystals won't have a colour explosion if you do that. But I want to really just add some yellow highlights. Whenever a page uh, needs a bit of a pick up, I always use some yellow in some way. So blotting it off with paper towel, keeping my workspace a little bit organised. And I'm pretty happy with that because this is just our first layer of our background. You can see the lovely speckles it's making. If I spray uh, some water onto my brusho crystals, it'll still activate them even after um, putting them on. So you can certainly do an after effect with them as well. And you can see that the colour is just moving with the crystals around it. So getting lovely and drippy. I'm pretty happy with that. I always am an impatient crafter so the artist in me wants to keep going so I'm always going to be drying off with my hair dryer but you can leave to dry if you have time. Now we're going to do a paint, some painted sheets. So we're going to do four A4s all together. So today we're using some Dino Wakely paints. We're using tangerine and magenta. Uh, we're using a jelly plate and we're using a brayer. And the colours I'm using in the delusions are crushed grape, vibrant turquoise, fresh lime, and I'm going to use some black and white a little bit later with some pink and yellow. Storing a jelly plate, make sure you store it in the container that it comes in or some other way because otherwise it is very soft. It will damage very easily if you put something on it. I only remove one side of my plate when I'm using it. I like to hold the other side and use it, uh, hold the plastic on the other side as I'm stamping with it on the paper. So I'm just adding some of the magenta. And the trick with the jelly plate is not to add too much. You don't need to cover it with a thousand layers of cover. I'm just going to use a little bit of the crushed grape as well. Always use a clean, something clean in your when you're getting your paints out. They do actually um, can become harbours for bacteria or contamination. Now notice that the brayer has feet, so when you're standing up on your card, or your table I should say, stand it on its feet, otherwise uh, the brayer can become damaged. So I'm just randomly rolling my roller over it there, and randomly just placing it on my paper. So I can get two pretty nice prints before I need to do any re-inking whatsoever. And as you can see, there you go, then I've done three, four bits. And even though it's quite light in some corners, I'm not worried. Again, this is just my background. 
I reapplied some paint that was already on my brayer and I'm going to clean up. Now I'm going to clean up. I just use a paper towel. I'm not too fussy because I'm going to put the next layer on as well. Now I'm using my fresh lime and my vibrant turquoise together, doing a cool page and then and keeping a warm page. So this one I'm not going to use anywhere near as much paint. I'm going to actually leave some gaps as I print with my jelly rose. My brayer isn't completely clean, it doesn't matter. We're just relaxing and playing. Don't let art become something that has too many rules. As you can see, I'm holding it by the plastic that is still stuck on the back. Not even pushing too firmly. I would like to leave some white on these ones. And as I pull it off, I can see that it's still got a little bit of paint on it. And because I didn't crush very hard, I've still got ample left on my roller for a second one. So I even go to a whole second new page with this one. Clean your jelly plate when you're done. The paint does stick to it permanently. As you can see, I've got a little bit of on mine. Not that it affects it at all. It does not, it doesn't affect the way it's used, but it is nice to keep your products clean. You've spent some money and you need to honor that. So I always keep put my lid back on, my sticky lid, and I put it back into my the con plastic container that it came in. There I have. We've done three with paint and we've done two with watercolour and watercolour paper with our ink sprays. So now once they're dry we're going to be adding some detail and some of my favourite, favourite stencils is what I'm going to show you today. And this small one that I'm starting with is Art Is and I think I would use it every single day that I'm at my art table. I love to use it in black or white. Uh, today we're going to use it in pink. Why I'm choosing pink, and this is the magenta from Dinah Wakely. I'm using the pink because it's already in my background. I'm not adding a new colour. We can get make our backgrounds too fussy. I'm just wanting to keep it as a background still. This is not a feature. So remember, we're going to cut these little cards up. And I'm using a, instead of a brush today, I'm actually using our sponges on a stick. And... You don't have to offload them as much as you do with a brush. So if stenciling has been a problem for you and you've been using a brush, switch to a sponge. Now I'm using the, that was Wildflowers, that stencil by Tim, uh, Tim Holtz, Wildflowers. This is the Butterfly stencil from, I think it's Donna Downey. And this again is one of my absolute favourites. And notice I'm not even using the whole butterfly. I'm very aware I'm going to cut the cards up, so I'm just putting wings here and there and I loved the, pa the page as it was so I just thought I would add this in white and white's a lovely background colour. The paint I'm using is a little bit transparent so it's allowing the colours underneath it to actually come through. And again continuing on the theme, butterfly pieces. happy with that. It's just one little corner that I felt needed something. So I'm coming in to do that now. So this one I thought I'd really add some colour. I've got the lovely magenta and the crushed grape. I want to add some tangible to really make this one pop. I love bright art here. So I'm using the Circle Explosion in the 12 by 12 stencil. Again, one of my favourites because you can use a couple of different sizes. You can use the whole page and just spray or you can just simply stencil. I often like to take 
are circles that um, fly through the middle of my work to lead the eye from one side to the other or simply just to add some colour. So now using, I'm now using the Vibrant Turquoise to complement it. So this one is really quite bright. It's a very different feel to the other one. Dotting. Adding some pink now. I really want to make this page pop. And I don't use my full stances, I often just use a little part of it. And when I've gone one way, I often turn my paper and, and do the other way. And because the background is very um, abstract, I really wanted to put some, some lines um, through it. happy with those. So now after those are dry we're going to add our final touch which is a single word on each of our art cards. So here we have our finish as you can see they are really quite different. And the way we're going to cut them is I'm just going to use a paper trimmer. I don't measure anything. I do like to do a little fold in the middle to mark where my middle is but that's as fast as I get. So what we're going to be working with now is um, a quarter of an A4 piece of paper. So I guess that's A6. And I'm just organising them all. They're very, very different. And we're going to do our final two layers. Just going to start with the top one. And they use bubble wrap. I often use pizza bubble wrap um, to just add a little bit of colour pop in the corners or to add a little bit of abstract texture because it goes on nice and globby when you use it. And I always apply it with my finger, it gives a lovely texture. Um, I don't like things too organised and neat. I like to make the art um, more abstract. I'm just stamping it on. And again, I'm using one of the colours that's already on the sheet. That was the magenta. But I also wanted to add a little bit of the tangerine, which I did in that, the yellow area. So I'm just adding the finishing touches now. And I'm going to highlight a lot of the edges. And again, use your finger when you do this. Don't use a paintbrush. You get a totally different effect. And it's so much quicker. And you can see the tangerine, uh, the, sorry, as you can see, the turquoise is really making oh, um, it's a bit of a, gap in the middle there so I'm just wanting to add a little bit of colour with my fingers. Paint with your fingers. Feels wonderful. Wildflower stencil. This was very, the card was very dotted and I wanted to break up just those dots that we've done so the wildflowers is per perfect to do that. They have the long stems and then they have the flowers at the top and it just really breaks the flow of those bubbles. some green to the edges so 
setting it aside. Still got green on my fingers, so I've just simply picked up the next card and going to use some more green. Let's spray a little bit of the ink sprays on here. So a bit of blue, a little bit of pink. And the circle explosions. Stencil. Sometimes it's hard to keep your keep things random. I think the other thing is not to think too much. Just enjoy the journey. And who knew you can paint your stencils through your stencils with your fingers? Here we are done. Each one very unique. Now I'm going to find a single word in our inspired words and place it somewhere on our postcard size. I'm using a brush this time. It's a little bit quicker with the brush and just some really lovely thick black paint. I'm just glancing at each card and using the word that I feel the card expresses the best. I'm not thinking too much. You can make them all the same. Make lovely birthday cards too. Like you could think. Don't be afraid to turn your words on the side. You don't have to do them all up the right way. Play. It's my favourite word. It's my word for the year. I always like to choose a word to focus my year.
today having fun on my art desk and allowing you to peek at what I do. I just hope that I've inspired you that art is fun and art is not about rules. Art about is just art is just about putting colour and words and shapes on paper. And I hope that you can just play with whatever supplies you've got and that what you do will also inspire others. So share your art and visit Lulu Art Supplies Shop and follow me on YouTube. Hope you enjoy these 16 art cards which is with paints and inks and stencils. And have a fabulous day. See you all next time. Now go and pick up a paintbrush.